Morning. How you guys doing? I'm good. You say hello to our friends down here. So we agree with their message. We just don't agree with their methods. Right? <laughs> So I actually had a com. I just I found it a couple of like a week ago. I had a conversation with them one time when they were doing their thing, and uh, they posted on whatever they posted on, and I didn't know it. The guy had a hidden camera, and so he recorded the whole conversation. But they only posted part of it, right? The part that they liked, because I just listened to them and asked questions, and then I I said, well, um, I I hundred percent agree with the sanctity of life and defending. The unborn and the old, both ends of the spectrum, the weak. That's what we're called to do, man, 100%. Um, but I, I said, I'm just not sure about your methods. So I said, I know this. I know that the Bible calls us to go into all the world and to preach the gospel and to make disciples and to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I said, I know that's a sure one. So let me ask you, in the guy been doing it for years, in your ministry here, when you're doing this, how many people have come to faith in Jesus? He went, well, I want seeds were planted, whatever. I said, well, I can count from, from the ministry that I'm involved with the number of people that we do that for. We, well, I don't have to say, oh, I don't know. Like, we literally have the names and the follow-up on people. I said, the Bible also tells me really clearly, in Matthew 25, that I'm to visit people that are in prison, that I'm to clothe people that are naked, that I'm to feed people that are hungry. Like those are, those are non-negotiables. I said, in your ministry, when you're doing this, how, how many times have you visited somebody in prison or clothed somebody that was naked or fed somebody that was hungry? I don't know. I said, so can I get your home address? Because I want to make up some signs and stand out in front of your house and protest what you're not doing, what I don't think you were in the stuff that I'm doing and you're not doing. Right? They didn't give me their home address. So it's just, okay. So how do you deal with people like that? Well, here's what we're doing right now. We're making them a bunch of snacks and some coffee and some donuts and we're taking it out for them. Because the Bible says, don't be overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That when people mistreat you, that's your greatest opportunity to show what Jesus has done in your heart. I'm not going to harbor this against you. In fact, I'm going to treat you the opposite way that you expect. That's what we're supposed to do. So would you stand up and grab a hand and we're going to pray. Father, we're so thankful that there are people who love the unborn, who give time and effort to remind us that life is important. That it is a gift from you. That from conception, Psalm 139, to death, we are to be image bearers of you. So we're grateful for their message. We're grateful that, Lord, this <coughs> week is a week where we are reminded of marches for life. Their own president, first time talking about how important it is to care, to love the unborn. And we pray, Lord, for groups like this. We pray that their methods would be like your son, Jesus Christ. Full of grace and full of truth. The way that he went about was so attractive and so beautiful that it beckoned people to him. That they wanted the same thing. 
not screaming and yelling and graphic. It's kind and compassionate and beautiful. We, as your ambassadors, want to make you beautiful. That's what we want to do in Grant's Pass. And so we ask as we study today <coughs> that we could leave here better equipped to help people recognize How loving, how long-suffering, how meek you were to speak to us. And we have ears, and we ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. You can have a seat. <coughs> welcome you. Glad you're here. We started a series on happiness two weeks ago. Um, I hope this did not happen to you, that someone invited you to come to church this morning. They said, hey man, you got to come to church this week. I said, why? Because we're doing this new series on happiness and you really need to be there. I hope